A remote installation searching for some of the most remote signals in our universe. But there's really nothing else like it on the world. There are other radio telescopes, other optical telescopes, but there's nothing even comparable to this. Deep in the WA outback on Bodgeri country, more than 130,000 antennas will be constructed as part of the world's biggest scientific facility. It's an intergalactic project with international connections. Radio dishes will be built in South Africa and 15 other countries are involved. Each of the countries is bringing their area of expertise. The antennas are made in Italy, the, um, India will lead some of the software work, Ch um, China is doing some of the signal and timing work for our telescope. This site will download data to the equivalent of eight, at 8 million megabits per second, 8 million. And then it'll funnel that to the Pawsey Centre, uh, Pawsey Super Computing Centre in Perth. Construction will begin early next year, but it'll be another four years until scientists can start collecting useful data. They're not quite sure what they're going to find, but hope it leads them to discoveries yet to be imagined. And we're hoping that for the first time with SKLO, we'll be able to map that epoch of the universe. So that will help us understand how the very first stars were born and then how the first galaxies were born out of those stars. Looking for the origins of our universe from our back WA. Rachel Clifford, ABC News, Murchison.